So, Mary, what are we doing today? Making my birthday cake. You're making your birthday cake. That's right. Today is the day we're celebrating your birthday. Well, it's my birthday. <gasps> it's your sister's birthday, isn't it? But in my birthday, I always it's ask my birthday. we didn't get to celebrate it. So. That's right. We were waiting for Grandma and Grandpa and John because John was an encampment. So everybody's back, and we got some fun balloons yesterday. I that. Those are really wacky balloons. How fun. And they're also hard to blow up. They are very hard to blow up. Lesson learned. They are I sometimes can't blow cute up balloons are hard balloon. to blow up. They're really hard, aren't they? <laughs> Mommy, look at it's that big. Yeah, I see that. Mommy, look at this, it's a big. And they also have pink mom. They have pink balloons. They have all kinds of balloons. And we picked these up at the Dollar General. So in case any of you guys want to check them out, that's where I picked them up. And I'm working on making a cake for Mary's birthday. We're going to do a Blue Jay cake as requested by her. So I have to put on my creativity here. Um, we were. This is what we're sort of imitating right here. This is her favorite little stuffed animal, a blue jay. So we're going to try to imitate this on a cake, which should be a lot of fun. But I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to start out by working on getting the cake into the oven. We're doing a lemon sour cream today, and then we'll decorate it later when everybody's taking their naps.
they are out of the oven and here they are. They look and smell really good. So they're just cooling down right now. And while they're cooling down, the girls and I are going to start the frosting. Uh, I did work on Mary requested pizza for dinner tonight, so I went ahead and made some pizza dough. Yay! And that's just rising right now. But we're going to get the frosting. Daniel's still taking his nap. So I wanted to wait until this afternoon, but since Daniel is still sleeping, I'm going to do this now. Um, so we're going to do a cream cheese frosting this time. Butter, cream cheese, things like that. And then we're going to... Um, brush the cake in a lemon syrup sauce oh no fingers no fingers sweetheart thank you so that's what we're working on right now we're going to try to get this done as fast as possible before mr daniel wakes up and then it'll be lunch time but so far productive morning we did a little bit of school while the cake was cooking What else did we put in with the lemon juice? Sugar. Sugar. So, so we're making a lemon syrup, and yeah. this is she's just cooling this down a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and split these cakes. We're going to brush. Actually, I'll have Mary do that. We're going to um, brush the lemon syrup on each layer, and then we will finish it off with some frosting and top it well with Mr. Blue Jay. So the cake is done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna top this with fresh flowers. But the frosting is too soft, so I'm gonna take it downstairs, put it in the refrigerator, and then okay. later this afternoon before the party, we'll finish decorating it with the flowers, and then hopefully Mr. Blue Jay. Oh, what are you doing, Mr. Daniel? Are you happy, Bella? Yeah, I had a good nap. One of you guys sent us this outfit. It's the most adorable thing. Look, it's a little monster. But then if you go down to his piggies, oops, there's his washcloth. Look at the claws, 
on his piggies. Aren't those adorable? I like your piggies. I do. I think they're cute. And see I'm in the middle of cleaning this out vacuuming all that I did a bunch of decluttering over the past two days so this has been really thoroughly cleaned purged everything everything has gotten washed windows have washed curtains have washed and speaking of curtains well we sort of had a curtain dilemma right there and what happened is I took my curtains and I put them in the washing machine on delicate and just like I did with the first set but these were my shears in a southern window I pulled them out after 35 minutes and they were just nothing but shreds so I think they had sun damage I'd had them 14 years hadn't washed them that many times but for whatever reason they just shredded and that was very disappointing so yesterday I ended up taking this curtain here and this is just one long panel I just tied it up with ribbons here to make it more like a swag so it matches these two over here but this window is these curtains are just too dark to have the two panels here so I just took the one and tied that up and well we're gonna leave the window open um, unfortunately when I clean this window that that fog is actually in between the two panels of glass I can't do anything about that which is a little disappointing because it's nice looking out that window um, out into the garden but I guess that's what happened so that was a little bit of the drama with the curtains I have in my entryway a couple other shears one here and one here I'm hoping when I get to this room and I wash them that they don't repeat and do the same thing because that's all I have in this room are shears I would have to come up with another solution but just uh, another day in the life of <laughs> of me I did check um, I posted this on my Facebook page and I checked and one of you guys mentioned what about seeing if there was something actually inside the drum of the washing machine so I took my hand I ran it through I spun the drum I can't find anything sharp and the way that it was when you held the panels up it was actually shredded in panels in in lines all the way down and it looked just it was in the section where the sun would have been on it and I had I had had those curtains neatly folded back so I think it was just sun damage and that's a southern window and so when that sun came in it just wore um, you know dried out those fibers from the fabric and it just well when I washed it shredded so oh well I got those um, dumped we did a huge free pile in front of our house got rid of almost everything so I have one little pile here that did not get taken so I have to um, rehome a few of those items there probably donate them to City Mission or something like that so just really going through repurging everything in the house recleaning like deep deep cleaning I haven't been filming it uh, just because I've been trying to take every minute that I have to clean except today was an interrupt day to get Mary's birthday done so we went out Peter and I went out got her birthday present little kids are napping I'm gonna finish cleaning the living room before everyone gets here
This one was not feeling too well. Now Lillian had a head, or not Lillian, Lydia had a headache. I'm feeling better? That's because I wrapped Lydia. Bracelet. Ooh, a new bracelet. <laughs> it's not those, it's a hook on bracelet. Oh. Oh. Mary's putting up her rain gauge that she got. Okay. I'll put in, yeah, it's glass. Careful. Problem here. Oh, you're gonna have to fill it up after yeah, we put it on. All right. Out. What's this here? That uh, kid put some string on it. It was full. There, there we go. Water in it, and then we'll have a bird feeder. A bird, yep, yeah, a little bird bath. Yeah, a bird bath. You have your water? Mm -hmm. All right, and they can take their little bath in there now. I don't know if hummingbirds will take a bath, but there we go. A few weeks ago, we were out here doing some school, and a bird actually came over. You remember that, Mary? Mm -hmm. It came over here to the green turtle. Now, the turtle wasn't filled up quite that much, and the bird came in and actually took a full-fledged bath in it. So we're, Mary and I were like, we should get a bird bath for it. So now you have your bird bath, and we'll see if the birdies come. What we've noticed is we actually get birds that perch here because there's our feeder over there, and you can see there's a bird at it right now. But we got a lot of activity at the bird feeder. We've got a, let's see, tufted titmouse, looks like a house finch. There was a cardinal here just a second ago. Um, so they kind of just fly by, and I think this is a nice landing spot for them if they would like. I don't know, I saw a YouTube video on how to make a, a drip system because birds are attracted to moving water. So I might see if we can hook something up with a dripper here so they can check that out too. But I'm not sure. At least we'll start with this and go from there. <laughs> 